Many of you would have seen an extremely wet Lake District ride video. The one that killed two of the four motors we were riding that day. Vicky's motor is a Bosch and it was replaced swiftly under warranty. My motor is a slightly different case. It's a high bike with a Yamaha motor and I'm way out of the two year warranty. Second motor to fail due to water ingress, so I wanted to learn how to fix and possibly improve its water resistance. So the bike has done 2,500 miles, it's on its second motor, both died at around 1,200 miles after a very wet ride. That's pretty shockingly unreliable and at the moment I'm getting more miles out of a cassette than I am a motor. Aware that the circuit board is likely to be wet from water ingress, the priority is to get it dry as soon as possible. So the motor being a sealed container, it's no good trying to dry it out as is. So as quickly as possible, I removed the motor from the bike, put it somewhere warm. Then I cracked it open just enough so that there'd be some airflow into the case and placed it in the oven at 40 degrees. So I did this 15 minutes at a time and I did it for three times and then I left it in front of a heater as well. And I was quite happy that this would have dried the circuit board out and stopped any further damage. Water gets into the motor by passing through the bearings. So the bearings are definitely going to be knackered. But before I invest too much time and money on the motor, I want to see if it's still throwing codes now it's dried out. All right, continuing with the update, I've just taken the motor out of the oven. Plugged it in. I'm just going to do up a couple of the bolts. See if it turns on. Oh my god, wait for it. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> so, I'm just taking it uh, for a quick test drive. Only about a mile, but everything seems fine. So, motor service, here we come. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment of truth. I cooked the motor and it worked again, uh, but now I obviously have to have a look inside and see what the damage is. Well, I can see a bit of rust already. Otherwise, not too bad. So what you can see here, just this tiniest bit of discoloration on the bottom is where there was a little bit of water got on the circuit board because the circuit board is mounted so it goes right into the bottom yeah, which is rubbish design and because there are virtually basically no seals on here there's silk bearings not seals water is getting in see that corrosion not a good job Yamaha should have proper seals on it Right, anyway, this is fixable. I'll order some new seal bearings and we'll be back on the road. So how can we improve the waterproofness of this motor? Well, there's not an awful lot that can be done. It's just not designed to be very waterproof. But I packed the bearings full of marine grease so there was no voids. This will act as a bit of a barrier because the water goes through the bearings. Next, I removed the circuit board, cleaned it with brake cleaner, and then coated it with multiple thick coats of conformal coating. This is a waterproof lacquer. I placed it in the oven between each coat at 30 degrees for around 15 minutes. I also coated the bottom part of the circuit board in silicone grease. All right, so this is me motor going back in after its rebuild. This will be the first test after the conformal coating. Right, so I'll just temporarily put the motor in. This is the moment of truth. Okay. Well, that's interesting. There's no errors, obviously I'm not pedalling it, but that's a very good start. Nice. So just a quick summary, this motor had water in it, the bearings had gone, the seals had gone, the circuit board started throwing errors, I turned it off, 
mess about, didn't ride it again. Put it somewhere warm, got home, cracked the two casings apart. You need a special tool to take it completely apart. Um, and then put it in the oven at 40 degrees repeatedly for about 15 minutes and put it in front of a fan heater as well. And some water came out when I was convinced it dried. Ordered the special tool and the new bearings. I've then um, spray lacquered with this conformal coating the circuit boards, three coats, 15 minutes in the oven in between at 30 degrees and put it all back together. And so far no aero coats, so hopefully. Get on with servicing the rest of the bike and I'll be back on the high bike in no time. This whole process did take several weeks and it was now time to go out and give it a full and proper test ride. It's safe to say it was great to get back on the bike and I was absolutely flying. So I just want to say again this is not a how to video, it's a how I did it video. Although it is important to dry your motor out as soon as possible if you have errors due to water ingress, I can't really recommend that you put it in the oven. Your best bet if you're out of warranty is to send it to a repair company such as Performance Line Bearings. I've completed several rides now and this motor is all good and I'm very happy to be back on the high bike.